gym's just been closed, but it is what it is. Tom and I are still going to manage to train because it's a, a home gym. We've got tables, chairs, and food. And we've got weights as well, so that's good. What we're going to do today, because there's been a lot of comments, is do a, a full day of eating. We're going to start, it's about 8 o'clock in the morning. We're going to show you both our meals, so Tom's with his diet and nutritionist, Nathan. I'm with my diet and nutritionist, Luke, me, or my wife, Cushy, whatever she makes. Um, so, basically, it's easy breakfast, eggs, bacon. Hey, bacon, grits, sausage! I've got some greens in it, spinach, asparagus, mushrooms. Then we're going to throw in some carbs with porridge, oats. What are you eating here? Just fried, eight fried eggs and oats. Eight. Oh, Thomas. Quick maths. Excuse the burning and the smoke and the fire and the flames if that happens because Tom's cooking. It's going to be. Smile, stay safe, stay spicy. Please only cook with a responsible adult. Good question. That was a question. Right, let's start Shut cooking. Up. So I'm just doing a little bit of prep work. Like I see, I have a pretty much a full, full breakfast. Um, just because I get vegetables in it as well and green leafy veg. I always eat spinach with it. Since we went out to Iceland, half Thor is a big advocate of spinach. Uh, I'll have three pieces of bacon, that's three mushrooms I'm putting in, a couple of handfuls of spinach. I've got some asparagus because of Tommy's fat the other day. Asparagus improves testosterone apparently. Yes. And then we've got um, some sachets of instant oats. We have two instant oats and I'll chop up a banana, chuck that in. So it's quite a high calorie breakfast but I, I always have done that since I've been young like to start my day well Mine's more simple than that it is just 8 fried eggs eggs, 8 and then again just porridge oats cooked in water cook it in water so much better for you and well, much nicer flavour What do you That's cook your oats in Luke? In milk, That's just matter What do you mean? No, water, trust me you get it's sort of more, so you get literally double what you do in milk. Just quick mass is a fat. Or you can use whole milk, get more calories. Dairy's bad for you. But eight eggs is eight fried eggs is okay for you to have in one Yeah, well eight scrambled eggs would be like the, this pan and more and I can't board. How do you flip your eggs on? I don't flip the eggs, I'm not gonna try it today. <laughs> Especially in this house, because you'll go mad. Hell hey here. You don't have to flip just Turn them over once. Oh, I think I'm putting them in there like a pancake. Right, let's do it. <laughs> hey. Nailed it. Two times, two times, baby. Two times, baby. So I cook my bacon first. Um, bacon, it's all very quick to cook. So I'll quickly fry my bacon. So I only have three slices of bacon. And I'd have a little bit more, but at the moment, obviously, with everything going on, um, I'm just trying to be a bit more um, conservative with my portions. So that's why I'm throwing in a bit more veg. Normally, I'd have maybe five slices of bacon. Um, saying that, I did just get an order from Campbell's Meat, so I will be from tomorrow having five bits of bacon. I'll be having zero. Cook your porridge in water because it's amazing. I like my porridge in water. Water and porridge makes a good combination. Cooking services are only £10 an hour. Best chefs in the market, the spicy chef. Who thought I could cook food in? I'm gonna do it in a bit. Uh, what sort of mushrooms is that? So, they're not shiitake. Um. I get sick of eggs after the break. Oh. So you really put me off. Oh, look at this. Now, I put the mushrooms in with the bacon. These are good. These are, mushrooms are fungi, but they're veg as well. It's always a fungi. So they've got no calories in them, so have as many as you want. And you can eat them raw or cooked. I always, I just cook everything with butter. Uh, I don't know why, it's easier for me. 
And it leaves less mess in the dishes. So you just block your sink. <laughs> Quick now. My beautiful breakfast is eight half fried, half burnt eggs. Good, it's a good. Uh, I did my best. So yeah, it's edible. And then porridge, coffee. Simple. Keep it simple. Get big. And then on the other hand, beautiful cooked eggs, nicely cooked mushrooms, and. Spinach and asparagus for that testosterone that we're all after, guys. Then two packs of instant porridge oats, banana chopped in with some honey and a little spicy coffee. So we're going to eat this land of games. Then we've got another meal, one more meal after this before training. Then we're training. So we'll show you our post workout meal, pre workout meal, everything today. So stay tuned. Shit. Pass that white thing on the free hold, I'm sprinkling that because that's not salt. <laughs> it's similar to salt, you fucking idiot. There's another one with pepper in that. There's something spicy in there because my mouth is. Right, is that one that we covered up there? The white one? Yeah. Close, yeah. Unless there was something in the pan initially, yeah. so it, right, that's what it was. Because she was cooking that last night. Is that right? Sorry, I didn't. Maybe I didn't clean it well. Enough. I thought you did. I thought you put like a chili powder in there to, to like. No, it's just a similar. To like, you did that prank or something. I was like, oh, that egg just like blew my head off. Okay, welcome for meal number two. We're going for the pre-workout meal. So just a quick snack. I've got a lamb burger from Campbell's Meat, freshly delivered today. So I'm gonna have that with some potato salad, some spinach, and a little bit of Tom's mashed potato. Um, and then that's. <laughs> Exactly. That's stealing, man. I need all that. I basically like loops. There's just turkey mints. I experienced this about two weeks ago. And I'm addicted to it. And it's even better because Campbell's do it. So, and then, oh, what is this, guys? You want good test levels? Asparagus. And then some tatty. Play on tatty from my dad's garden. Picked it myself and put it in a box. So that's what we're going to do next. So I'm going to go out to the barbecue. I can't get trusted by the barbecue, so I'm staying. I used all looks eggs, but I'm kind and I bought more for them. See? Thanks, Tom. And I even bought 12, so I actually only ate, so he owes me four, so. Who thinks we should have this later on? I'll get this bar for out for a second. 9, 10, 11, 12. I'll get it out for, I'll get it out for the next meal, because this is a surprise. Entice you. Yeah, so we should have that for meal four. Well, there's a wee fishing rod. I've got a bite. Something special is going to come up later on. Uh, that didn't start very well. Right, here we go. Mince. 250 grams of pure turkey mince. That looks good, dude. How do you like your mince cooked? <laughs> Turkey's pink and I like it white. No, I don't I cook it too much. If you overcook it, the flavours come out of it. But I always add a... He laughed at me. I always put a vegetable stock cube in here to get the taste banging. Banging. This is what you should try if you haven't tried it. Turkey mints. One of the best protein sources you can have. This increases red blood cells. Operation Spice Tommy. So let's see what we can put on Tommy's. Uh, I'm thinking I'm going to dip one of the asparagus in chilli. So when he bites it, it's going to be really spicy. Because <laughs> um, we got him at breakfast time. We probably would have saw the, the egg. He was eating the eggs. Like, oh, what's that? That salt dead spicy. So we got away with it. So we'll see if we can do it one with each meal. So anyway, I'm just putting my, my burgers in the, the barbecue or the grill. So I cooked one last night, actually. Um, so I'm just reheating that one safely because you always have to cook your meat safely. So I've got some lamb burgers to snow. Lamb, I just find quite tasty at the moment. Oh! <laughs> Romark, Martins, I saw your barbecue. You're smoking. Romark was a little chef outfit. This is what I do every day. Don't stop me. You don't cook like that every day. I like to cut it. This is cooking, mate. This is cooking. Fire. Man, look at that. 
But if you come over to Scotland, I'll show you how to cook. I've actually, this is a fact, I actually studied uh, in chef school when I was 12. I didn't, I washed dishes at a hotel, but I learned some tips. Can you smell that, Simon? Smells good, dude. Yeah, buddy. Alright, let me finish. Let's see, five, twi one minute more. How does this compare to normal chicken? Whoa. Uh, chicken gets boring, so it's good to turn it up. But this stuff is bang. Turkey mint, well, thank me later, Simon. Definitely lots of asparagus. How much you put on? Well, asparagus. Six. Eight because they're smaller. I'm doing eight because they're smaller, but look. Yeah, yeah <laughs> it's funny. <buddy. laughs> Oil. Only oil with asparagus. So, pre gym meal, changed up for my second meal because we're training soon. It's it bad. is 250 grams of turkey mince, eight asparagus heads, long things, whatever you want to call them, and about 100 grams of potatoes. This turkey mince, guys, if you've not tried it, Campbell's meat, get it, demolish it, and you will turn into a protein junkie. And then the secret that nobody likes. You ready? Well, that's not spicy tomato sauce. Maybe that's chilli tomato that sauce. That finishes it off. Lovely. So for me, a couple of lamb burgers, handful of spinach, some potato salad, and then I'm gonna have a little slice of cheesecake after, because I feel like something spicy, but sweet. So I feel like something sweet. I'm sweet enough. And we've got a couple of monster mousses as well. Enjoy. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Oh, it's from Turkey. You can put it in bins in there. Is that? Is there anything in there? No. Nice. The pre-workout gym meal is done. That was lovely, because I made it and it was so good. Now we're drinking Muscle Mousse. Cheers Muscle Mousse. Apple flavour, executive flavour, but Lou and raspberry flavour. Now we're going to get pumped up and ready for the trampoline park. Going to go to the gym, do a little cheeky bench, and come up to the garden, do some sandbag throws. Simon is going to do a flip. So the object of the game is, we have to sandbag throw Simon off the trampoline. Everybody loves to see kid flip and hit off the trampoline, so that's what we're going to do to him. We're going to so throw stones at you, Simon. Our video, gr video guy get launched in the air by a sandbag. But before that, we'll see our... from Milfrey. No, Milfrey. And bench. Post-workout. Hold tight. Stolemans are locked down, keeping it spicy. Take one off a hundred. Keeping <laughs> it spicy, take two. Getting all confident now. There's no point to swap me because then you'll get loose for this. Use both pair of spooters. <laughs> 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 oh, jeez, that's scary. <sighs> that's nice, though. So. Boy, boy, boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we've just finished in the gym. Now we're going to do a post-workout meal. 200 for six. Right. My post-workout meal is Insight Supplements. And today I'm going to try the protein that Luke's uses. So it's Lean Way Revolution from Muscle Sport. 24 grams of protein, so I have three scoops of this. And I'm gonna have 150 grams of blueberries. Oof. Nice and simple, fast carbs, fast sugars, 
protein easy. Uh, so I'm pretty much the same. I'll have my whey, I'll have a banana, but I'm gonna put in a couple of scoops of Carbo Max just for some extra carbs in after training. Obviously we're not all six foot ten giants like Tom, so I've got to try and get as big as I can. So yeah, Insight have been very kind to us. I'm just gonna quickly talk you through a couple of things that we take daily. So pre-workout, take that when we're having a big session. I find the MV3 pretty pretty good. That's that gets you. My favourite supplement of all time. Oh. Pico to we got given this at Scotland Strongest Man last year. I just thought it would be another kind of supplement that would just not really do much like with performance and fatigue wise, but I've been using that since and wow, wow, wow. Performance Five through the roof. Stars A plus. Five HTP kind of aids in cognitive function. Sleep quality improves your sleep quality. Yeah, that before sleeping's good. Yeah, so that's a good one. And then Revive. So quite a big name now. Quite a lot of the guys are using them. So, uh, so I'm using Immune Multi, but I'm doubling up my dose at the moment, and that which is, has really helped. Uh, Inflammation RX. Obviously, when we're training heavy, our joints kind of get inflamed. Our tendons get inflamed. So on top of the cold, the hot and cold therapy, I find this really effective. It's like four and one as well. So it's. Banging. Sure. Um, so revive the blood pressure. So being bigger guys, our blood pressure is kind of it, it fluctuates up and down. So this just seems to control it. So I I, I love these revive. Right. Keep on top of your blood pressure because that is one thing. Don't let it go to too. Your performance will go down if you have high blood pressure. So there will help you the most. And then the final one I've got, I don't know if you've tried this, Genesis Electrolytes from Insight. Um, obviously when we're training, we're sweating a lot. The weather is going to start getting hotter now, so we'll be sweating even more. So it's very important to stay hydrated, to replenish all your electrolytes so you're not cramping. So yeah, that's kind of our go-to kind of supplements at the moment. Insight do everything, every single brand you can probably think of. It's on their page, from Redcon to Strong, you know, it's from USA to UK. Have you, have you ever driven to the US? No, from the UK is impossible. How is it? I decided. I decided. <laughs> now, this is a top tip. I never put my, Tom does, but I don't like to put my powder in dry. So I like to top it up with a little bit of water first, just to stop it sticking from the bottom. Do they make it off to me? Of course not, because you're crazy. So, I say, this is a post workout meal that we have. Um, just quite easy, quite high calorie. Um, Chutting a banana with it. Boom, fish bars posh. Right, let's eat. Boom. Tune in for meal four. Meal four is Campbell's meat steaks, two each. And then asparagus, some tatties, some mushrooms, and then the best is last. Mine and Luke's. You can just have this. Half a tub of ice cream and I'll have the cheesecake. Full tub. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Easy on the diet, look at that. Rip to shed that. Slop, slop, slop. Ah, got a cramp. Ah. And some uh, granola. Granola sweet. This is healthy. What about Himalayan salt? So my steaks will be two plain ones with no sauces. Because I love them just plain and simple. I don't know what Luke's going to have. But I'm cooking mine first so I can get out the way of his spiciness. Two hands. Finally, that's what's happening. Yeah, buddy. How do you like your steak, Tom? <laughs> In a restaurant, I like it medium rare. When I cook it, I just guess. So any anything's fine for me. I think a few nights ago I had it rare and that was well nice, so probably two minutes on each side to find the meat. Shopping up the fun guy. Yeah. Prank. Oh, I thought you heard it, so I was worried. Yeah, I thought that's. Yeah, I get up right out. Where is it like? Oh, I understand. 400 grams of mashed potato each. So it's going to give it a lot of pierce. Barbecue, my 
garlic. Ooh. Oh, put too much on it. <laughs> That's what you get when you try and act fancy. Look at that, garlic's just ruined all. That's what we're going to put this on. Finally, it looks awful. Right, shall we boy? Steaks. Absolutely pristine. A little bit of meat, a little bit of plastic tongs when cooking in the barbecue. Extra flavour. Let's go and see what Tom's up to. I wouldn't be surprised if Cushy put some chilli in the tomato sauce because that's what she does with everything, so I doubt it, but... You want a bit? Yeah. What is it? Just in the corner of his hide There you go. Oh, it's like blood. Is that enough? Yeah. Yeah, baby. Would you have a sauce of your own? Yeah. Tell what it's making it spicy, I think that is a wee bit. Was it spicy, Tom? That's stoshes. You see, I almost find it spicy. Oh, it's got really spicy now. F**k off. I swear. My mouth's on fire. I, I just had a bit of asparagus and it tastes spicy. What do you use to wash your pans with? I don't know, too sick. I know I did actually. <laughs> Come on, Harley. <laughs> you don't find it spicy, do you, dogs? This is our kind of last big meal of the day. We've still got a couple of small meals to go, so I'm, I usually have another couple of hours um, before we do hot and cold recovery. I'll have a shake, same shake as I had for meal three, protein with carbs in it. And then for me, before bed, I like to have some uh, either jam and toast with peanut butter or bagels and toast with peanut butter. So that's basically the rest of the meals. What, what have you got, Tom? You've got a couple of. Uh, I have just got either a sheet meal if I want it tonight, which I might have, you never know, guys. Let me see. But then before bed, I just have a protein shake, exactly the same as meal three, three scoops, four scoops before bed, and boom. This diet that I'm doing and you're seeing is through Nathan, Big Nathan, Prob D Coach on Instagram. I think that's how you say his name, sorry if it's wrong, Nathan, but yeah. Check him out on Instagram. He's, sorry, he's a nutritionist, Brian Sean. This is the food I'm eating, is what he's basically telling me to eat. So we've showed you our sit down meals, but sometimes when we're driving, once we're for having little snacks here and there, so I just, I've just said to you what I'm having later on, but I've also included, I've had a couple of bagels with peanut butter and toast. There is other stuff there that we do throw into our diet. Today's meals all, well, it's around, around probably from what Tom and I both have about 20,000 calories, um, give or take. Excuse me, obviously as everyone knows, everything's just kind of um, basically on shutdown at the moment. We're going to do one more heavy session, or kind of heavy week, just to push it, just to see where we can get to, and then we're going to kind of just chill out, I think, aren't we? Not chill out, still train, but just kind of come down a little bit, drop the body weight, because we will do our best to keep coming with our YouTube videos. So Check out the website, stopmanbrothers.com, get some spicy merc, and like, comment, and swipe up to Norway. And please subscribe. keep ringing that little bell. Ding 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 